What's, What's going, going on, on peeps? Ben and Chrissy at Cabin Colouries, and welcome back to another bloody FN2 video. Another one. Another one. Um, this one we kind of attempted to do yeah. last week. Yeah. And we started filming it, uh, pulled the fuel rail out, got the other one connected up, ready to go, and then I realised on the injector seals they were perished yes. to shit. So we had to get some new ones. So, I had so to get we're some fitting new ones. the tactical racing fuel rail and engage. Which is kindly uh, given to me by a sponsor, Tactical Racing, it as you know. Indeed. So thank you very much. Massive shout out to them. So yeah, we did supposed to do this last weekend, but we bloody couldn't. Yeah, well, Tom ordered the seals and that. Um, <laughs> which I got the seals from. Uh, Jack. Performance, no. <laughs> Jack Performance, no. Can't remember. Jack Service Parts. Jack Service Parts. Jack Service Parts, I've got a few bits from there before as well. Good delivery, yeah, always. Jack Service Parts. Always real quick delivery with them. Uh, literally, Bish Bash Bosch. Oh, genuine Honda. Oh, genuine Honda ones. And it cost me £22. Well, bad mate for all of them because in takeaway I wanted seven pounds for each one. one of those big ones. Yeah, I think it was. Or was it for four? I can't remember. But yeah. That one is a oh, that's gonna be a fiddly one. This is. Yeah, so uh, yeah. we're gonna get the fuel rail off, um, get the injectors out, change all the seals over. I'm assuming then put the injectors in here. Yes. And then off we ruddy bloody go. Let's do yeah. it, shall we? Chris is nervous about this one. I'm nervous only because I've, I've watched Type R tweets. Shout out to you as well, mate. Um, yeah, he had a bit of trouble when he done his, but I'll hopefully have learnt from his mistake. Yeah, just make sure it's really, really clean. And yeah. That there's no PTFE tape that's come off and gone in there and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, so it's relatively straightforward, people. Uh, that's your fuel rail. Obviously, you would might have a plastic cover there, but that's pretty obvious how to get that off. Um, you just unplug your clippies here. One. Two, three, four. If you notice as well, we have changed this hose back to black now. Uh, and then I believe that that, you pull that up there, and that comes off like so. And then what you do, I believe, is this plastic casing, you just take that off when you fit the new one and then just tuck it in behind nice and neat. Yeah. Uh, this is the sort of this bit here, because it's, it's a bit of a twat to get off that. But that's like, this green bit here pushes down. So it's kind of a push down, twist that way a bit, and then pull. It's a bit of a shit, that bit. So get a and then drag, when that's unconnected, then you just do that one and that one. Then the whole thing will come out. Obviously, put a rag down to catch the fuel. We'll have to paint them, I think. Yeah. yeah we'll I, don't think, I don't think it got new ones, will it? No, it didn't. Um, so it should be that straightforward, Christopher. Should be, mate. Should be. He says. Yeah. It's the annoying bit of getting the freaking fuel line off. So yeah, we'll get all that off. We'll come back to you when we start putting the seals and stuff in, shall we? off that took all of about three minutes other than Chris has dropped the wash I think again right so you have to take the green, the green clip, clip off, off of the, the OEM fuel rail there yeah you have to take off because that has to go on to the new one because that's what clamps the line on to and so really clamps the line on here I'll show you onto here so that has to go on to there basically like so but the main thing we've got to do now is so yeah, that bit pinches, sorry, that bit pinches together and then you pull the line off basically. It's pretty straightforward. Chris decided to drop one of the freaking oh, riser thingies that were on there. Which he did exactly the same as he did last time and it's gone down the engine bay. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, we've got to replace the freaking seals. As you can see, look, this is exactly why we bought new seals. Because these have literally... Disintegrated disintegrated by like everyone look at the state of them these ones aren't too bad look at it look. Oh, that one's all right so yeah so we've got all new seals not quite sure where they all go but we need to take these off to put onto the new fuel rail um we'll explain how to do that once we figure out how to do it 
<laughs> right, so these have got little clips here, which are these. Yes. Which you don't need, apparently, for the other one. So you just literally, you just fucking pull them off. <coughs> Break your bloody ejectors. I didn't do it with a screwdriver, I did it with my hand. Yeah, but that needs to be prized off of there, let's see. Like that. Oh, yeah, just like that. Yeah, I stink of frickin' fuel now. Oh, this side's a hot move. It's a big fat S2K in the way. So, yeah, they come off. Do they, do they screw in or they just they just slipping? They're just pushing. Oh, do they? Yeah. So, I'm assuming there's another seal then. Yeah. In here, so you got one. Yes. One on the end, which, which is there. One there. So that's just three seals then, isn't it? Yeah. So that's relatively straightforward then. So when you're swapping your new seals over, it's pretty obvious what goes where. There's like a ready coloured one that goes there, the little tiny one goes on the end, and then there'll be another one inside there, I would imagine. So how would you get them off then? Getting fucking eyes a kite. Well in there. It just pulls out or not. Oh yeah, it does. Right, keep, uh, not that it probably matters, but we'll keep them in the order that they came off. Yeah. So, you see, can that, see... that seal seems pretty good anyway. Yeah, but. there's a rubber there at the top, which goes into the fuel rail itself. There's a rubber there, and there's a really small one there on the end. So it's just those three seals that you're replacing. It's worth doing for the sake of freaking 20 quid, in it? Yeah. It's obvious which one goes where. The tiny little one goes on the end. That kind of ready coloured one goes there. there. And the thick black one goes on that end. So we'll swap them over. Yeah. We'll come back in a bit. <laughs> wow. Right, so we'll show you the process on one injector. So you've got and there's three. There's the first one on. So the first one goes on the bit that goes into the actual fuel rail itself. It's, it's pretty bloody straightforward, isn't it? Yeah. And the second one, you can see the old one is on there still. She looks split, that injector. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Fucker, <laughs> Just old, isn't it? Yeah. So Chris is just using a little tiny screwdriver just to pry it over the top. So, yeah, it's obvious. Like I say, you can see what one goes where, so it's not hard. Don't be, don't be worried. And then that one goes in there. The little one on the end, and then happy bloody day, lad. It'll be a nice tight fit now, though, isn't it? Mhm. Mm I'd imagine. That's a nice hat you got on today, Chrissy. Thanks, mate. I had that given to me. Did you give you that? Me brother. <laughs> Obviously, and then that one should just go on there like so. So let's have a goose. So you got it. your one on the top, your black one, your tiny skinny one on the <coughs> end, and then your weird like ready browny coloured one in the middle. It's that simple. I don't think it matter what order you put them back in, but just you might just as well put them back in the same order just because it's, it's just the way it was, wasn't it? Yes, the way it was. So yeah, literally got to do all of them like that and then make sure that fuel rail is spanking clean inside. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll then, go and airline it out now. And then just pop them in and then away you go. Right, it was pretty straightforward, wasn't it really? Other than Chris dropping the fucking thing down the arse. So they just push in, right? Yeah. Literally just push in. And that's it. Lovely jubbly. So then that, we've got to put the green bit on the end. Yep. But that will just push in back into the holes now. Mm -hmm. This car's got a snotty nose that... <laughs> so take them out, just stops any crap getting in there. Oops. And then it should just go straight back in. Yeah. I've taken the plastic bit off there as well, it will just unclips, it's an absolute crap. So put it in and get that out of the way for now I think. Let's make sure that these are the thingies are facing the right way, obviously, because your clips go redeemed, and then that should just push back in the freaking hole, by, shouldn't it? Should. Should not be stiff because it's so there. Uh, got such new seals on it. Oh, 
Seated, seated, seated. Oh, so much better. That looks good. Shitty, tacky, thing. This is the bit I was unsure of is uh, what you did with this, but all I've seen people do, mate, is uh, you just, tuck it, just tuck it down like that. Yeah, I think like that's, that. what you that's what you can do, really, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I think so. So you've got to get your little riser things back in, yeah. bolt it in without dropping them. Yeah, yeah that's, that's very snug. Show me I've got mostly bolts in it to go on. Really? Cheers, mate. Cheers, uh, boy. But I could just do them with a touch-up pen or something. Well, yeah, yeah. Is that like that? I could whack a bit of black paint on them, mate, if you want. But you have to wait for them to dry. Yeah. I think just a little fucking touch-up pen will do, is not it? Yeah, a bit of fucking powder marker, so. I think we've got a powder marker here, haven't we? No, we've got a paint pen over there, though. I didn't it. Yeah. There's a brand new one. Oh, this one. Yeah, that'll do, mate. That's what bloody do. Ruddy bloody do, do, diddly do, do. Nice. And you got your little gauge on there as well. So you can see your fuel pressure. Don't know why, but looks good. Ah oh, yeah, ah oh, yeah. So depending on what manifold you've got, determines whether you have to use them spacers or not, doesn't it? Yes. Because those spacers came with that manifold, didn't they? Yes. You think of everything. Right. Okay. What have you done now? Nothing. 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 Ah, uh, bollocks. What? What's what? I've got to get that one in place, oh, and then need to put that through the... Oh yeah, of course. We'll do that, we'll come back. Right then, she is on. The only issue we had, and we're going to speak to Tactical Racing about, is the main fuel line that goes into the fuel rail just isn't long enough. It's just, I mean, it goes in, obviously, and it's not leaking, it's fine, but you've really got to really Stretch it a bit. Stretch it a bit to uh, get it in. There is another clip back there. I wonder if you took it out. Oh, that would make a difference. <coughs> yeah, it's in another clip back there. Is it? You can see it, it's that there. It's in a plastic clip. But yeah, so the issue is, it's, it fits. Oh yeah, I see it. But you've really, really got to pull it in, which obviously there's another joint there on that white clip, which puts a bit of pressure on that, which we're not too keen about so we're going to get older tactical racing see what they say because it's their fuel rail obviously um but unless we can undo that clip there somehow and that releases a bit more a bit more because there is i can literally fall the line and it goes down there and does it seem quite it goes off up there does it seem quite slack go back there um yeah does it work kind of it goes down it kind of goes down like that and then across right so I reckon, yeah, it would loosen it up a little bit. Yeah. But, well, so if I start up first, Chrissy, see if it leaks. Yeah, yeah. Let's, well, let's hope it starts. Well, okay. oh, yeah, given what type of tweaks went through, we did make sure it was spotlessly clean. This is the bit that only concerns me, is that bit there, where the join is. Yeah, I like it. 
think we're going to write this because that ain't right the way it is, so there's pressure on that pipe. So we're no. fine, unless we can release that clip at the back and give it a bit more track and we're going to look at that. Yeah, yeah. Other than that. But it's maintaining pressure right as well. Yeah, there's no leaks anywhere. No fluttering. Happy talking days. Yeah. Have a nice little mod to the engine bay. Yeah, lovely, lovely. Yeah. Oh, oh. oh, light, the bright light. So, yeah, we just put a little bit of paint on those rusty nuts. Rusty there. bolts? Yeah. That's good, mate. It's really, really good. Oh, it does really change up. Let's look at that. Yeah, it's horrendous. That's actually fraying there. Mm. Horrendous. Need to do that ASAP. Yeah, I noticed that the guy, Matt, on one of the forums has just got a belt and the potential pulley to change on his. Yeah, yeah. But yeah mate, I love that. Looks good. Again, the only issue is that, but hopefully Tactical Racing will have some kind of have a resolution a for it. So. Yeah, yeah. Frickin' sweet as a nut. Good. Transformation. Yeah, I'm looking forward to doing a proper good clean on it. From yeah, the engine bay and getting real Well, I'm looking forward to clean the whole it. thing. I'm getting them. Um, oh, getting those proper black silicone hoses on, we'll finish that off lovely. 100% mate. Won't it, Daniel? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, Daniel. I know you're very busy though, mate, so I'll let it go this once. So there we go. Thank you for Tactical Racing. For, yes, thank uh, you Tactical Racing for the uh, fuel rail. Out the fuel rail. It's freaking sweet. And hmm. like we said, we'll keep you updated on what they say about the length of that and whether they've got another one that you can just buy or whatever to close on. Maybe it's because it's slightly shorter because you've got a different manifold on it. I don't know. Could be. That, yeah, could, could be something could, to do with well it, couldn't it? So we'll look but into then that. You might be able to get the. They might say replace the um, the actual nozzle piece that comes out of the fuel rail to make that longer. That's all it needs. Yeah. It needs to be an inch longer. Yeah, so yeah, that yeah. Is literally it. It's either that or, like you say, that clip needs to be released a little bit and just pull it forward a bit. Yeah, we'll have a look at that in a sec. We'll so have a look. Pull it over. Well, well, there we're ready, ready to go. Well, Thanks, Tactical Racing. It was only a little short video, really, wasn't it? That one? It was, kind of. But, yeah, um, not too bad. <laughs> we smashed up three today. <laughs> Sweet as a nut. You're doing four bench, are you? Why would it was for fourth one we got to do? LEDs, isn't it? Oh, what the fuck, mate? No, I haven't got time, mate. Oh, fuck. Sorry, mate. That'd be a nice, easy one, mate. We'll yeah, it would be a nice one, yeah. We can come back, get back into it after a couple of weeks off. Oh, Hopefully, I'm, well, nice, easy fingers one. crossed, I might potentially have my gear knob by then. So Ooh. That'd be nice to finish it off. Carbon Rider might be hooking you up as well with a very good deal and some bits to put on there. Yeah, they might be, yeah, yeah. I just so got to go sure. rob a bank or something and then I'll uh, be able to get that. <laughs> there we go. But, yeah. There Thanks go, all guys. for watching. Thanks to our sponsors, Tactical Racing, for sending the fuel rail to yeah, us. Yeah, thank for you very much. For bugger that. all. Yes. Thanks to Danny and Rich, Dino, those former sponsors, for watching the channel. You're absolute leggings. Well, Tactical freaking. Racing, obviously, if you want to send some more stuff for me, that would be fantastic. Well, obviously, or maybe for an S2000, because yours is pretty much fucking done. Yeah. <laughs> I want the manifold, and I want the yeah, freaking test pipe to go in there. There's all sorts of ones. I want, then, the, I want specialising FN2s, mate. New induction kit yeah, you do, for yeah. it. All sorts. Yeah. So, anyway. We're shit chatting. <laughs> we so love you all. We bloody, ruddy, ruddy, bloody do. And we shall see you on the next video. Peace out. Bye bye. Bye bye. GTFN. <laughs>